Go away. Zhang not want to speak to you. Zhang kill ox. Zhang too strong. Too rough with ox. Zhang not want to hurt ox. Zhang only playing. Now Zhang cries for ox. Ox like to play with Zhang. Ox like it when Zhang throw her in the air and catch her. Zhang missed. Zhang dropped Ox on her head. Ox is dead. Ox was Zhang's friend. Zhang killed a friend and now Zhang is bad. Master already have another ox. Poor ox. Zhang killed Ox's sister. Now Ox won't like Zhang anymore. Song is lonely. Ox must be lonely too. Maybe Ox will forgive Zhang and we be friends again. I will go and see. You have been nice to Zhang. Zhang like you. Zhang hope you have good day. Thank you so much. I was at my wit's end. You've done me a great service today. Come Zhang. Let's go home. Zhang coming. Zhang go home now. Thank you for getting rid of that thing. <laughs> Business is bad enough without that ogre scaring away my customers. Here's a little something to thank you. It's not much, but it's about all I can afford these days. Lord Yun has put out a call for aid. Will none of you answer? Finally, someone approaches me. I was worried that this town's courage had drained away with the water. 
Uh, it puts me ill at ease to think that a lake could be restored more easily than a man's spirit. You seem a woman who knows her way around a battlefield. Are you willing to put those skills to the test? Not personally, no. On behalf of Lord Yun, I'm here to find a skilled warrior who can deal with a unique problem. The Great Southern Forest, which lies north of this village, suffers from a terrible disease. Every tree within its borders sickens, and the place is infested with ghosts of all manners. If we did, would I be here? Lord Yun, my master, seeks a way to open the forest again and make it safe for travel. He is prepared to reward whoever aids him. Our men are no match for the ghosts in the forest. Perhaps you are. You must leave Tien's Landing via the gate and follow the roadway to the north. The forest is but a short journey away, and Lord Yun makes his camp at the base of a hill, which should be easy to find. The path there is relatively safe, but travel beyond his camp and things worsen considerably. Go safely, and remember what I've said. Lord Yun needs the help of able warriors like yourself. These trees are sick. They bend like they're in pain. Narawa ir kwanuk noka opiye okir ifuir wo. We hurried down as quickly as we could, but I see you had the situation well in hand. I'm impressed. Not many people can disperse the spirits of the dead with any ease. They grow worse by the day, and I've almost given up hope of finding a solution. My manners desert me. I am Lord Yun, owner of this land and charged by the Emperor himself to keep it safe. You should turn back south to Tien's Landing. This is the safest part of the Great Southern Forest, and even it is polluted with these strange ghosts. Help me. That's certainly a kind offer, but I'm not sure that anyone... Wait a moment. You don't look like a pilgrim or one of the poor folk trying to escape Tien's Landing. Would it be out of line to inquire as to what brought you here? Even caravans employing skilled warriors have been forced to turn back under these ghosts' assaults. I could only reach Tien's Landing by using my flyer. They're quite common around the Imperial City. The trick is to obtain a wind map that allows you to navigate the air currents over large distances. Acquiring that chart was a hard-fought battle, I can assure you. 
The Lotus Assassins keep a tight rein on those precious documents. Indeed, though you would also need a flyer with enough fuel to manage the trip. Those are in precious short supply in this area of the Empire. Then again, you seem resourceful, and I believe resourceful people find ways to get things done. Perhaps you could get something done for me. If so, I might be persuaded to foolishly risk the Lotus Assassin's wrath by making a copy of one of their precious maps. The deal is simple. Find out why my land sickens, why it is home to so many ghosts, and you will have your map. Two things threaten the entire length and breadth of this forest. The trees blacken with disease, and ghosts flock to this place like no other in the Empire. I suspect that these things are related, and, more importantly, that they're related to a fox called the Forest Shadow. Just that. She is a fox spirit, and thus one of Heaven's tricksters. The fox can take on the forms of men and women, and will often do so to test us. Personally, I don't think they have any right to deceive us. But my father felt that our family's good fortune came from just such a test passed long ago by an ancestor. Some sort of ancient alliance in which she was guardian of the forest, while we owned the land in the world of men. She is a powerful being, one my father considered the guardian of this forest. If this place is filled with ghosts, then I suspect that it is either because of or in spite of her. She is a powerful spirit that has long been an ally of my family. Personally, I've had little to do with her. My father and his father before him, however, felt strongly that she should be revered. They considered her the true guardian of this forest. She is a powerful being, one my father considered the guardian of this forest. If this place is filled with ghosts, then I suspect that it is either because of or in spite of her. I think something is wrong with the forest shadow, and I want you to find her and figure out what is happening. Once we know that, we'll have a clear idea of what we face. A noble sentiment, but when I look upon these trees, I'm afraid that you may have to destroy her. See what you can learn first, then we will act if it is necessary. Make your way up this ancient trail, and when you come to a fork, take the left path. That will lead you to a temple built long ago in the forest shadow's honor. Once there, find my hunter Spearcatch's leaf, if he still lives. He claimed to remember some sort of ritual that my forebearers used to contact the Forest Shadow. You might also want to keep an eye out for some small shrines that are scattered about the forest. Some of them are said to react to magic or charges of chi. I was beginning to think there may be no cure for this place. Your arrival has given me some small measure of hope. Find Spear Catch's leaf at the temple above and see what he has learned. Your wind map will be waiting when you find a cure. I am glad you are still all right. This place is not well. The more you know about this place, the better chance you have of finding a cure, I agree. What you see here is only a small segment of the Great Southern Forest. As you climb this path, you'll be able to see more of the forest stretching around us. Normally, this forest is heavily traveled with caravans moving north and south. As these are my lands, I collect a moderate income from their passage. 
That is why I'm so motivated to cure this place. I'm sure that the ghosts are drawn here by the same force that's sickening the trees. What else would aid you? I was beginning to think there may be fine sp I understand Lord Yun's determination, but it will kill us all. Spear catches leaf. Lord Yun's lead hunter knows this area intimately. says not to worry, but I hear things here. I don't know what they are. This place. There are spirits. The Guardian can hear them, and I can too. But there's something else. Like the sound of the ocean. Voices. The mists here hold voices. Coming from below. They're too quiet, though. Old. In the stones and the mist. I don't know. It's like listening to the wind while people are yelling at you. The Guardian says... He says not to ask. He says it doesn't matter who they are. Who they were. He says they are not under heaven. He doesn't want to say anything more. They... They change when I talk about them. I, I don't think we should mention them very much anymore. Is there anything else you wanted? This place is... strange. The Guardian says not to worry, but... I hear things here. I don't know what they are. The Guardian says this place is like home. Well, almost. Here goes home? Home comes here? I... I don't understand. <laughs> The Guardian likes it here, but it's scary, too. He's not the only one who likes it. Is there anything else you wanted? The Guardian says this place is like home. The Guardian likes
they are mad with madness. Thank you for keeping me safe. Narawa ir kwa nok noka o kiir o kiir ifuir wo. You have come from Tian's landing. You were. This is good. I was going there, but you're coming here instead. I come from the inn, the Pilgrim's Rest. You must take a message to the town for us. Things are very bad. We starve. The ghosts cut us off from everything. But we are still up there. Tian's Landing must send people to help. Many people should come to the inn to help us. They can't let us starve. You would be welcome there. They would have you for a most fun stay. The inn lies above on the path to the right. No, I should. I, I should return to the inn. They will want to know you are coming. You should come with me. I can take the message down later, and you will be safe from the forest shadow and her ghosts. She is a wicked fox spirit. They are tricksters, all of them. The tricks she plays kill now. You should stay away from her. She hurts us when we leave the inn. Oh yes, they must be. She hunts us, and these ghosts hunt you, right? Isn't that the same? She's dangerous like these ghosts. We're all afraid of her. That can't be right. She is dangerous. You should go to the inn to be kept safe. That's the only way. I will go back the way I came. Knowing that there are others here, I will be all right. I must go back to the inn to tell them. You should follow the path to the right, not the left. Left goes to the temple, and the forest shadow will kill you. Come. The inn is this way. What do you want? Okay.
strike.
I watched in awe as you dispatched those things. Not many of your kind can deal with ghosts as easily as you did. Yes, the ghosts are most dangerous. We are fortunate that they have not yet ventured inside the inn. It offers us some refuge. But I forgot myself. Welcome to the Pilgrim's Rest, Traveler. I am the Keeper, as they call me. Uh, tell me, did you happen to come across one of us on your way up here? We sent him not long ago to search for help. It was the forest, Shadow. She's taken another from us. We hoped we had found a way to deal with the fox, but we were wrong. Some. She does not attack us here at the inn. Those few we have dared send out to the forest do not return. We have tried so hard to find a way to end the fox's attacks. She must be stopped! We thought we were close, but no. Well, that is quite a thing to ask, isn't it? Quite a thing indeed. How are we to know we could trust you? No, I do not entirely trust you with such plans. You must know fox spirits can assume the forms of... humans. How can I trust you not to be one of her servants, or the spirit herself? For now, simply accept what little hospitality we can offer. These are hard times, but we would not dare treat a guest poorly. Oh, please, it's nothing to concern yourself over. We would not trouble you with such a thing. Oh, I wouldn't dare to burden you with our concerns. It would stand me poorly as a host. I wish you all the best. Travel safely and return here soon. We would welcome you for our evening meal. You must join us for dinner. You would be a most welcome addition. No, no, it's nothing for you to trouble yourself about. The fox is our problem, and we will deal with her as best we can. You should stay and be comfortable. And I tell you that the only cure is to destroy the fox. But I do not believe you are committed to that course of action. As loath as I am to see you go before dinner, perhaps you could find more answers at her temple instead of worrying about us. Of course. I wish you all the best. When will more come? The forest is closed. None will come except from Tien's Landing, and that path is closing. Uh, hello. Welcome to the Pilgrim's Rest, where the patron is the most important part of our business. 
I am Hull, your humble cook. I'm also in charge of the few supplies the inn actually stocks, if you have need of them. Though I am weary and work to the bone, I'm here to help you. What can I do for you today? I don't know much about this forest at all. I was only passing through when I, uh, stopped at this inn. Turned out to be a longer stay than I anticipated. I'm sorry I can't be of more help. However, as shopkeeper, I do have some items that you might be interested in. How very lucky for me. I seem to just stumble into these situations. There's not much I can tell you, to be fair. You should ask the Keeper. I'm sure he'll be happy to tell you his side of things. I don't really go in for celestial politics, but I will say that it's awfully odd that the Infolk seem to hate her so. To hear them talk, she's practically insane with bloodlust. But everything here seems perfectly normal, wouldn't you say? Ah, well, if she attacked you, then she must be mad as a mountain farmer. Unless there was some mistaken identity, of course. The Keeper has more than enough to say for both of us about the Forest Shadow. Go ask him if you have more questions. I'd be happy to. I'm sure you understand that my stocks are limited. I in fact, if you think about it, with the ghosts filling the forest, I shouldn't have any supplies at all. There's n nothing. It's nothing. I, I just thought, well, I was hoping that... Uh, would you like a bun? I... I can't tell you. Not here. Not now. They're listening. Go and speak to the innkeeper. Ask him about the twisted servants of the mother. See how he reacts to that. Be prepared when you speak to him. That's all I'm saying about this. I'd be happy to. I'm... Of course. Here you are. You must join us for dinner. You would be a most welcome addition. The mother? Nothing, nothing at all! You should not speak nonsense when the forest shadow is still alive. Oh, you truly wish to know. Your mind will not rest until you have an answer. You are lucky that I sense such great strength from you. Had you dealt with those ghosts out front with less efficiency, I would tear your throat out. But please, allow me to reveal all that you wish to see. Let me show you the truth. Gaze upon our forms and bask in our glory. You should be honored to see the true strength of the cannibals. Are you happy now that you have the answer to your prying questions? No, of course not. You wish to know more. You are drawn to our majesty. Intriguing, yes? Such power is hard to resist, is it not? You must understand that we are servants of a powerful demon known as the Mother, who has taught us to draw strength from human flesh. The Forest Shadow imprisoned her millennia ago, but soon she will be free. You will help us with that, or you will die.
We will give you one chance to aid us, or you will feed us. This crystal was torn from the Temple of the Cursed Fox. The hunter who is there now said there would be some way to reach the fox, if he could find this missing bauble. We kept it from him because he wished to aid the fox. We are fast and silent when we need to be. He did not even know we were listening. That is the weakness of the Thin Bloods. You are strong. If you agree to use this crystal to kill the fox, whatever it takes, we will give you a half year's tax worth of silver. A rich prize to kill a dying rodent. The fox holds the mother trapped within the earth of this hill, but she can hold nothing with dying paws. She is a most powerful creature from a time when primal hunger ruled all of your kind. She has been trapped in this hill for centuries, trapped by the fox. But as the dead grow restless, she feels their anger, their rage, and their hunger for release. They feed the mother, and she grows strong as the ghosts flock to her. She reached out to us. We are her children, and I am first among them. You are so very stupid. What the Mother has given us is no curse. This is power. We eat the flesh of your kind, and its energies make us strong. The Mother has beautified us in return for serving her. You should not speak of killing the Mother. It is a sacrilege that makes our blood boil with rage. The dead walk the world, and the Mother can draw strength from them. That is how she reached out to us told us of the new way. The mother grows stronger each day, but she is still trapped, and the forest shadow is not so weak as to be easily taken. She knows us instantly, so we have no surprise. You are unknown. We cannot defeat her, but she cannot destroy us so easily either. She will try to pour honey into your ears, Beg for your help. When her guard is down, then you will destroy her, and the mother will be free. She is the filthy fox spirit that imprisoned the mother centuries before the Empire was born. Like all foxes, she is a trickster and thinks of herself as a judge of wrong and right. She claimed this forest as hers, gloating over the imprisonment of the mother. But she did not count on the ghosts filling her forest. The mother called to them, and their rage, their hunger for release, has restored much of her strength. The time of the fox is over. What will it be? Do you value your life, or will you play the fool?
You just don't understand. You will. Rend her flesh. Her screams should echo in the town below. That was astonishing. I haven't seen such martial skills in an eatery since the last time I added ginger to my wife's hot and sour soup. Thank you for your great kindness in rescuing me. Now that these beasts are dead, I can finally talk to you. My name is Henpecked Ho, and before you ask, I'm not one of those monsters. They kept me prisoner so that I could seem normal to the customers. No sense dancing around it. You might as well have asked. My wife is unique. To say that she is as enduring as the wall itself is to do a disservice to her persistence. I could make similar comparisons between the force of her will and the Imperial Army, but I think you have the picture. The last I saw of her, she was in the Imperial City. I was due back more than a week ago, and if she hasn't torn the place down looking for me, I'll be surprised. That's beside the point for now. I must thank you, as I clearly owe you my life. These cannibals were getting desperate enough to cook even someone as ropey as me. The last thing I needed was to be dragged into the caves below. I heard a lot about the caves from the cannibals. There's something down there they call the Mother, and I think she, it, whatever, is what made them what they are. She is some sort of greater demon the cannibals serve. I think she's the reason they're as twisted as they are. From what I overheard, the Mother was trapped in this hill before Sagacious Chen forged the Jade Empire. But something has disturbed her. I don't know how or why this Mother of theirs has returned to the world. But if she can do this to men, she must be stopped. That is something I do not know. They would leave the inn and then return. I wasn't in a position to ask for details. I don't know for sure, only that there are many more of them. From the sounds of it, they've been capturing people and changing them. The ones they don't eat, that is. Is there anything else that I can help you with? Well, they're cannibals. They were once men, but they were corrupted, twisted into flesh-eating abominations. The Keeper, the one who met everyone, including yourself, at the door, had some skill with magic. You might have seen through the illusion in time, but most people never get the chance. They're usually taken, or worse, changed into one of them. They kept me around in hopes that I would make this place seem more normal, and they needed me to help run the inn. They're none too bright, really. I resolved to try and tip off the first warrior who dared come to this place. The cannibals must be stopped. 
They claim that they were changed by a creature called the Mother in the caves below. Apparently, she's an ancient demon responsible for twisting these sick creatures. A good idea. Even talking about them makes me queasy. You killed the cannibals up here, but there's more in the caves below. I don't know how they got in or out, or how they took prisoners down there. I do know that they were terrified of something called the Forest Shadow. I'm willing to bet that would be a good place to start. If you're planning to tackle these beasts, I want to help. In my own way, of course. I'm not much with my fists. Not anymore, anyway. But you'd be surprised what tricks an old Bunmaster might know. Have you ever heard of Drunken Master Style? Drunken Master uses alcohol to loosen the body, deaden pain, and create unpredictable moves. It is unique, deadly, and entertaining all at once. I was a master, top of my game and well known in Phoenix Gate, one of the great cities in the prosperous East. My skills earned me fame, fortune, and a wife. You weren't listening. Fame, fortune, and a wife. I discovered fairly early on that she had opinions, most of them regarding alcohol and my regular consumption of it. I can still teach you, though. She has never expressly forbidden that. I have a few bottles on me right now if you'd like to learn. Pay attention, I don't like repeating myself. Now, when I am with you, I can throw you bottles of wine. You must pick these up in order to use Drunken Master. The effect wears off quickly, but I will make sure you don't run out of wine, as long as you keep the enemies off of me. Now, watch my technique. Longsword! Drunken Master! You got it. Your job isn't done, though. There are still more cannibals in the hill. I don't know how to get in there, though. The cannibals were dead set against that forest shadow. They didn't want anyone going near the temple. Maybe you could find her and get some answers. We well, must be safer than this place. Good luck. You'll need it, I'm afraid. Let's go need some dough! What? It's the best I could come up with. Thank you again for rescuing me from those... things. I owe you my deepest gratitude. Is there some way I can be of assistance? It would seem we have our work cut out for us, but as my darling wife likes to say, when things are tough, quit your whining and get to work! I can almost hear her screaming at me now. If ever you find a cure for bad memories, please let me know. As I mentioned, I am but a simple bun master, with a dear wife who has turned my life into a miserable cesspool devoid of humor and excitement. Bless her soul. My wife ensures that I work very hard every day to become the best bun master in the Imperial City, perhaps the best in all the Empire. Though I was one of the most respected fighters in the Empire before I met my precious bride, she made sure that I became something more, or less. As I mentioned before, my style requires that I drink. She detests drinking, though there are things she detests even more, like talk of us separating. My loving wife would knead me into several small dumplings and boil me in hot oil if she suspected I was even speaking to you about leaving her. Life is not all bad, though. I may have lost all my dignity and self-respect, along with my ability to fight or even make a tight fist, but I am a bun master of some renown. 
I would sooner return to the cannibals and offer them what little flesh is left on my bones. But let's not discuss such things, if you don't mind. As you wish. I will be here waiting impatiently if you require anything. We were trained together. Your selection is only right. The people of Tian's Landing owe you a great debt. You saved their town. Master Li would be proud of you, as am I. If you could spare some time, could we talk about what we have seen? I'm not sure I can make my concerns fully understood. Our time in the ruins, the creatures we encountered, so much unrest. This was different from what I have seen before. There is pain here, but hatred too. The spirits around Two Rivers seemed aimless, lost. These are focused. I feel they would linger here, even without the support of whatever has increased the ghosts elsewhere. I suppose that is true. Left behind by their neighbors, literally to die. Could you recover from such abandonment? I'm not sure that I have. I mean, if I had suffered something like that, I'm sure it would have stayed with me. I should not feel bad about it. I was not left to die. I was sent to study at the school, probably so Master Lee could deal with my sensitivities. It doesn't compare, really. These spirits, they truly suffered and have a right to turn on those who left them behind. Me? I feel like my abandonment was partially my fault. But I was three and I couldn't help being different. I would have tried to fit in if I had been given a chance. I know I shouldn't. I can see the result of such pain in the poor creatures in the ruins. I do not want to suffer such anger, such bitterness. It may not seem like it, but I draw great strength from you and the things you say. I am grateful for that. As always, I have much to think about after speaking with you. Perhaps we can continue this another time. I will answer what I can. Zoo made it quite clear what we must do. We need a wind map, and we need a flyer. The longer we take, the farther away Master Lee gets. Be well, my friend. What do you want? I am restored. I am restored. I am restored. <laughs> 